So I was going to turn this book now page for vulnerability. So I was going to click on book now. Before that, we'll have to turn on our verb seed. Turn on our verb seed. We're going to turn on the interceptor. Then fill out our name. I'll just go by the name Pedro. I fill out anything. I use anything. Now pick the date. Take this. Then I'll now have to click on Zap Booking. <laughs> I have this. You can see the full page. This is the original page. You can see this. We'll have to test this later for the originality. This is it. And here's what we're testing at. We're testing for these details, for these parameters, these input values and input. So what we're going to do is we're going to click put it here. We're going to try and test this for JavaScript. We'll first of all close the input then write our script. Close our script. Now let it know it should alert us with this number. We'll close our script again. <laughs> so testing all these parameters now instead of us to be testing it one by one, we'll have to save time and I have to copy it and copy. I have to paste it at the end of each parameter paste it as a name to paste now <laughs> I have to click on forward and to click on OK then clicking on OK what I have to turn off the interceptor then you can see that it alerted us with two it alerted us with two to show that there's a JavaScript it gave us a JavaScript trigger at last is vulnerable to attack so we could inject our javascript here so you can see it that is it could inject that javascript in the date the name and that will click ok you can see it you can see that it shows up that this shows that is not part of the code and also this shows that it's not part of the code but this is where it's coming from because you can see that is locked so if you right click and inspect it you see that it is locked because we we'll have to just take your time look at it so you can check where the problem is coming from from here you see it. so let's go you can see the the first one which is the name you can see the second one then this is the third and in this one now you can see that it's written here that the script alert to you can see it on the date in the value of the date you can see it you can see it that it is locked it's inside the script you can, you can see it this is inside it it's locked so this is where the issue is coming from